everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Ohio Guys here. I'm Christian Ocampo, and today I'm being joined by Gareth West. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing mighty well. How about you, my friend? Good to, good to hear from you again. Yeah, good. It's, it's great that we finally got to sit down and get our first interview with you. We're very excited to have you here. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here are some questions to get started. Uh, first of all, what is it like working in the industry today? Okay. Uh, well, the anime industry, it's, honestly, it's kind, of, it's kind of amazing because I've done various sorts of acting throughout my, my life, uh, like musical theater, uh, film, commercial, all that stuff. I'd say no form of acting is as just simple fun as anime voice acting because it is... Most of the people that I'm going in for, I know relatively all right or very well, and we just have a good time whenever we go in to record. So it's 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 pretty exceptionally great working in the anime industry, and uh, it's it's about as low pressure usually as most other forms of professional acting get, um, because you know you're you're pretty friends with these people. It's not a usually it's not a director for hire, so you. You have a good relationship with the director, and you know the engineers usually, and it's it's just it's a really good time, and you get to make fun voices for a living, and you know, uh, I love anime, so I was I was a big fan beforehand before I got into it, so that helps a lot. So it's, it's a good good to be in the industry. A plus, five stars on Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> and that experience has been great for you. <laughs> All right, uh, another question. Since your time in the industry, what is your favorite show you have worked on? My favorite show? Oh, yeah, that's tough. hard. Um, so, I'd say the one that is... It's funny because favorite show to work on is basically every show. Because every time you go in, you have a good time. But my favorite character... Um, and we did have a blast recording it. It's probably um, a Tetsu Takara from you. Because that guy is just adorable. And I got to do a lot of fun stuff with long, you know, um, metaphorical speeches uh, to encourage all the boys. And it's a show about boys' volleyball. And he's the, the teacher that believes in all these kids. Um, and it was just a lot of fun to play. But, the, I mean, that being said, uh, uh, my guy in Chihai Furu... Um, Akihiro is a lot of fun too, and that's a that's a crazy character. And uh, um, Food Wars, they're all fun, but I'd say probably overall, probably Takeda because I got a lot of I got a lot of fun actual acting to do in that one. Like um, just he has some moments where he just believes in these kids so much it's very heartfelt. Which not to say that everything else is not acting because they were all acting, but um, it, it was a lot of it was cool to listen to that go back and. And hear um, that uh, I do get a little, you know, emotional with those those boys, my boys. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's a probably long answer, Takeda. <laughs> awesome. All right. Since we mentioned uh, this show, was like working on Chihaya for you. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Honestly, uh, that was that was one of those where my character is one of the most comedic of. All of them, not you know the only one, but one of you know the most comedic. So he's ridiculous and crazy, and um, he's just kind of the member of the main team that is the most out there because he's trying to cheat and like get himself on the tally all the time, or like get himself on the team uh, so he can play, and like he changes the roster all the time and. Um, uh, <laughs> the funniest story that you have through is maybe not the most, like, <laughs> PC, but uh, there's one line where uh, my guy gets really nervous because he's playing against uh, a black person in a game of uh, uh, Colorado. <laughs> and the funniest thing was I was good friends with Shannon, who's the director of that show and happens to be black, but that was... That was a lot of fun, because I read it on the script, I was like, Ken, I don't think I could say this, and he's like, no, no, just, you know, I was like, oh, God, <laughs> I'm just this little, this little white bread boy from Iowa, I can't be saying anything, 
But uh, <laughs> so that was that was an interesting time. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and it's a, I love my guy, Matt. He's super, super wild. And the relationship he has with his brothers, where they idolize him, um, that was kind of fun to, to play the big brother, because I'm the youngest of all my brothers. Hmm. So to, to be like the whole, like, you know, it's like, uh, don't worry about it. Big brother's here. You know, that whole thing, that was a lot of fun to get to do, because I don't get to do that ever. So, well, except for, you know, people I mentor, but it's just not the same. <laughs> All right, uh, another question, and this one's one of my favorite comedies. What was that working on? Haven't you heard I'm Sakamoto? Oh, haven't you heard I'm Sakamoto? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so that was that was a very fun show. It was, I mean, I, I, I know that I've broken records. They're all fun shows, honestly, because you just have a good time when you go in. Haven't you heard I'm Sakamoto was one of those that was so ridiculous because um the f amazing thing about that show is the fact that it really has one joke for the most part like the one joke it is is that this guy's the coolest but somehow the writing is so good that they honestly make it last for the whole series and hopefully you know whatever season two or whatever um uh but my guy in that is starts off as kind of just the basic bully and then um, my favorite thing is that I have this, I, off the top of my head, I can't tell you who plays him, but my, my partner in crime were kind of like a duo that show up throughout the thing. Um, and my favorite part of recording that was at one point at the end episode, which is kind of a bonus episode, uh, they, uh, the two of us come in and nobody knows off the top of our, their head what our names are, even though we've been through the whole thing. Uh, and so... We recap the entire series with just saying our names. Like, we go through, like, you know, we were there for all of it. You know, all the important parts, like, you know, and we go through all these emotions of, like, uh, I'm Yasuda, I'm Yasuda, I'm Yasuda, I'm Yasuda, I'm Yasuda. Like, it was just a lot of just saying our name one after another. And I recorded that first, so um, I, got to, I got to go do that first, which was an interesting timing thing, but a lot of, a lot of fun to do. So that's a that's a that's a funny show. I have some friends that I took to go see that for anime at the Elmo that say that that's one of their uh, who aren't anime fans uh, that say that that's still one of their favorite shows because it's just it's funny to anybody really because the joke is you know kind of uh, genreless. It's got some good laughs. I again, it's one of my favorite comedies out there. <laughs> right on. All right, uh, another show on this one really touch base ready on. What was that working on Haikyuu? <laughs> well, Haikyuu was kind of funny because, um, like, I know, like myself, a lot of voice actors um, who were in the pool or whatever um, were wondering when Haikyuu was going to get dubbed. So it was kind of this, like, overhanging thing of, like, because it was such a big show. Uh, we knew it had to get dubbed eventually, and we were like, oh, I hope I get in that. That'd be, that'd be pretty swell. Um, so it was kind of an, an interesting thing of uh, everyone kind of being hyped for Haikyuu um, before it came out. So when I did get cast in it as a pretty, as a member of the main cast or whatever, um... I was super excited because that is that's such a fan base that is so there for it. Like the high Q fan base is one of the most fun, intense, um, uh, fervent fan bases around because they really care about that show and they they get invested in it and uh, they love it. And I love seeing people love stuff. <laughs> so um, I love you know enthusiasm. So. Uh, uh, I was I was a little nervous first going in, and then like, um, you know, I looked into the guy that I was voicing, and you know that he's just like this sweethearted guy who believes in the kids and doesn't know that much about volleyball, which like was lucky for me. <laughs> I don't know much about volleyball, but um, uh, I just really it was really it was really natural after that because I was like, oh, I know it's just you know we're gonna. He believes in the kids, he's warm, and he's genuine. Like, I can play that. That's, like, I understand that. So, um, that was really, 
it was natural after I got in there and like saw who I was playing. So was, you know, and then I found the voice for him, um, and that helped a lot. You know, like the whole like oh, my name is Tetsu Takeda. So the whole like the the enthusiastic higher register thing went on, and that you know solidified him for me. So yeah, it was a blast. I love Haikyuu. It was a fun show. All right, I got one of your other favorites coming up. What was that looking on Food Wars? Oh, Food Wars! I love Food Wars. So, um, <laughs> it was funny because uh, when I got um, the director of Food Wars, Kyle um, Jones, uh, called me in, and um, I looked up who I was playing just like the day before ahead of time, and uh, we had kind of an inside running <laughs> joke that. The last, like, three people that I played had stupid, ridiculous hair. Like, they just, their hairstyles were completely ridiculous. And so, um, it was, it was kind of, uh, uh, I don't say it was the only reason I got cast. Hopefully it was talent. But, uh, <laughs> this guy, this guy in Food Wars has this ridiculous pompadour that is gigantic and moves with his emotions, whether it's up or down or you know, whatever. Um, and so, uh, when I got in, I was like, well, this is already going to be a ridiculous character. Um, I could tell, um, from the hairstyle. And then, uh, I, just going in, I was like, oh, this guy is hilarious. Um, he's basically just super over the top and uh, kind of a loser, <laughs> which, uh, <laughs> which is a lot of fun to play. And, um, you know, after his first initial appearance, he keeps coming back because he's got a, um, a relationship with uh, Meat Meat. Not like they're dating, but, you know, got a, something going on there. I hope they date. That'd be cool. But uh, <laughs> um, uh, he's got a good heart. He deserves it. Uh, you know, throw him a bone. But uh, <laughs> so um, he keeps coming back. And um, then my favorite time recording that was either his first initial, like, passionate speech about rice bowls or later when I'm cheering in the in the food war and I'm cheering for meat meat and I'm you know like meat meat you're the meatiest <laughs> like that was that was a ton of fun to get to yell in the booth because uh sometimes I'm yelling in the background and my audio is background um so it's it's under layered under the the primary thing being said and I'm saying a lot of different ad libs about meat and stuff, <laughs> but uh, uh, so that was a that was a oh that was also another one where I I knew it was a big show going into it uh, that it had a pretty prominent fan base. The Food Wars is kind of blown up into this this big show, so um, I was excited for sure, for sure excited. Yeah, definitely such a big show. Happy that you guys got to work on it. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> Uh, so here's another show you worked on probably like years ago. Uh -huh. What was it like looking on Log Horizon? I was about to say that one. I was wondering, yeah. So Log Horizon was super interesting. Um, so Log Horizon was the first time, no, second time. Second time I, I worked with Kyle ever. It was like the, the second show I ever worked with him. Because I did like Walla for Monthly Girls. And then, um, you know, Log Horizon's got a huge cast. Uh, the second season, especially, has, like, a gigantic cast. Because it's basically, you know, it's got so many different stories going on. But, you know, um, Akihabara's got their own, like, contained story. Then the, the raids got their story. And then the second half of the season's got all those stories. And um, so uh, when, they, when, they, when he called me in, I was super excited. Because... I actually, what I did was, I was pretty new to the anime world. It was my first year. And um, I, uh, I watched all of season one. So I watched all of uh, um, Log Horizon before, I think before I, I didn't know who I was going to play either. So what it turns out is actually um, uh, Dinkerun, the guy I play, shows up in the first season, but he never talks. So he shows up at the, uh, the summit with uh, William. Um, but he never speaks, which is lucky, because that came out before I was working for Sentai, so that wouldn't get to play him. 
But uh, when I did get in there and I saw my character, I was like, dude, he's cool. He looks like Link on steroids. Like, he's this big jacked elf, and he's got, like, spiky blonde hair, you know. And he was nice, and he was polite, and he was, he was, he was a tank. And then um, I, after that, I just became a huge Log Horizon nerd. Like, I was looking for, like, video games that were similar to Log Horizon, or if there were any video games for Log Horizon. And um, uh, I got... I just love, uh, a lot of the time when I play video games now, if there's a tank class, I'll make my guy after Dinker Run, because <laughs> yeah. I think he looks so cool, like, he just got, he's got that big armor, he's got the cool shield and, like, the, the thorny sword, uh, it's a thorny, better enunciate, uh, but, uh, and it was the first time that in an, in an anime, I got to have, like, uh, you know, the traditional power names, you know what I mean? You know, there's always, in anime, it's like, the fact that you get to call out what attack you're going to do, I always like, which is super geeky, but, uh, um, you know, he had, like, Anchor, Howl! Like, he had all the, uh, and, like, Castle of Stone! Whatever that was. Um, so I was super excited just to have, like, like, power names. Like, by the power of Grayskull, but, uh, uh, <laughs> like, He-Man. But, uh, so that was, I was super excited. That was probably the biggest show I've worked on at that point, um, for sure. Because uh, Log Horizon is a pretty popular one, too. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. And I love that show, honestly. If I wasn't in that show, I would still watch the, you know, the heck out of it. <laughs> All right. Another yeah. show that's got some medieval touches to it. Why was I working on Gate? Gate? Oh, yeah. Well, Gate was one of the shows that I mentioned that I have stupid, ridiculous hair. Um, my guy, Colossa, um, he's, he's, he was fun to do because um, basically the way it was described to me was that um, these two guys that were the advisors to the prince um, were the people doing all the actual thinking and, like, planning behind the kingdom. Like, they were the ones who were actually intelligent, and there was this bratty prince that was just there to, you know, because he was the prince, and he was rude, and blah, 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 blah. And, um, so I was like, oh, cool, I get to be, like, the scheming advisor guy. And, uh, so that was, that was super cool. Uh, Gate has just got so many characters in it. Gate is, like, ooh, expansive. Uh, but I remember now that that was a, I remember going into it, I was like, that's a pretty big show, so, um, it was, a, again, um, has a cool fan base, because I'd heard a lot about it, I've never gotten to see it, uh, I had not seen it up until that point, but, um, uh, also they made fun of my name, uh, Colasta, they called me Colasta Me Bag, but, uh, <laughs> so, it was alright, it was a good experience. <laughs> alright, and now we got another show that was just announced earlier in July. Oh, gosh. Why was I working on Um Girls Maki Videoism? Right? It's like, oh, Maki, 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 So that was, that was a super good time. That was, again, directed by Shannon. And uh, it was, gosh, that was, I play, um, you know, one of the boys in the story, you know, almost all the boys are uh, massively feminine because that's, like, the girls are the masculine ones and uh, the uh, the guys are the feminine ones, um, which I thought was super awesome and hilarious. But, um, and just, like, a, a, a cool premise for a story. Um, uh, but so my guy is ridiculously over the top and... Uh, uh, I mean, I don't know how the, the best way to describe it, but he's, he's just, um, he dresses very feminine, he's just very girly, and he behaves very feminine, and I love that guy, he's so much, he was so much fun to do, because I was in the booth with Shannon, and, and the cool thing was I got to do all of the, the outro recaps, so the recaps at the end of the episode, um, I think, it's either at the beginning or the end. Uh, the episodes where uh, myself and one other character did the did the outros, but uh, so I got to to see every episode. Uh, but it was a lot of fun because 
everything he says was like a hundred percent over the top. So it was just, you know, lots of it was one of the most anime roles I've played in a while. <laughs> so uh, if that makes any sense. So uh, there's no way not to have fun, especially when you're doing with people you like. So uh, it was a blast. It was a, it was a real blast. The fun. I have a funny story for that one where I came in. Um, I came in to do a pickup for that one uh, a couple weeks after I recorded, and uh, there was somebody who I had never met who was a very sweet voice actress that was recording at the time that I went into the booth. You know, we kicked her out for a second. <laughs> uh, um, and uh, it was interesting to to meet somebody and be like, oh, yeah, hey, I'm Gareth. Like, oh, great to meet you. Then immediately the next thing they hear is like, uh, like it's going to be boy, boy. Like, it was full so I was like, okay, well, this is what I'm showing to that person as a first impression. But it was a lot of fun. So I was like, she must have thought it was insane. But that's all right. <laughs> I can't wait for that show to come out. I, I'm excited. I wait yeah, for yeah. One or one year and a half, I've been waiting for that show to get dubbed. I'm, I'm happy. Oh, yeah. That. I'm so glad you liked it. I, I, I didn't look in too much into it when I recorded because I was super busy at the time. But uh, it's cool to know that people uh, people dig that show because when I saw it, it was it was a super interesting show for sure. Oh, it definitely it is. Just can't wait to see it. Me neither. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet either. <laughs> All right, now it's time for our funny questions. We'd like to ask everyone if you could be any character you have played in real life, who you be, and you can make some match. So, any character in real life, or any character in animation, or... Well, yeah, in animation, but you... In animation. Them, but you play them, or you are them in real life. So, you can pull either the traits, their their skills, or whatever, and just match them into one, one whole thing. Hmm. See, I would probably say... Well, I'm a big Digimon fan, but... I don't know... It would be pretty sweet to be Batman, but the only problem is I really like my parents. Uh, so, I guess, like, you know, you could be, like, Robin. Uh, one of the Robins with live parents. <laughs> so, the third one, Tim Drake, has parents for a little bit before they kill him. Uh, so, I guess, you know, it'd be sweet to be, like, Robin or Batman, but with parents. <laughs> Because, <laughs> you know, then you know every martial art, apparently, and you're super rich, and you're friends with Superman and Wonder Woman, so, you know, right. But, uh, in anime, uh, I've always loved, um, there's a lot of people I would want to be in anime, but, um, like, uh, I also really like the idea of getting stuck in a video game. Like, I wouldn't mind being Dinker Run, if, like, except for the fact he's a tank, so his whole job is to get hit a lot, which I... I mean, I guess it's all right, but that sounds kind of painful in real life. Um, you know, but something like that, where you, where you get to live in a video game world, that'd be exciting. You know. All right. Uh, is there anything else coming out that you can talk about or anything you want to plug in at this time? Uh, anything that... There is nothing that I can talk about. There is some stuff that I have worked on that is not out yet, so I cannot talk about it. But, plug in, um, I'd like to plug in for you guys to just be good people. <laughs> be good people. Be nice to everybody. There you go. Alright, and now we've come to our final question. Yeah. The Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, anything like that for the fans to follow you or contact you at? Yeah, um, I think my Instagram is Gareth T. West, so Gareth T. West, and um, that's got a lot of, sometimes when I record, a lot of career stuff is on there, um, and just like selfies and stuff too. Uh, my Twitter, which I'm trying to learn how to use better, like I'm desperately trying to be better at Twitter because I just don't use it enough. Um, or at all, but I'm, I'm working on it, so if that's Gareth underscore West, and then my Facebook page is Gareth West, um, I do, right now, I am still adding a lot of 
um, anime fans, um, which, uh, if I run out of friend requests, might have to slow down, unfortunately. But, um, uh, right now, I'm, I'm still adding people on my Facebook page, um, because I, you know, that's public, mostly. Uh, other than that, I think that's, there's, like, I have, like, a Wikipedia page or something, and a Behind the Voice Actors, but I don't have anything to do with those, so... <laughs> So uh, there, there it is. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for uh, giving us the time to interview you. We really appreciate making the time for us. Oh, absolutely. But it was a lot of fun. No, oh, definitely. It was. So thanks again. Hope to see you next time. All right. And then thank our fans for tuning in another episode of the Ohio Guys here. Thank you all. I'm Christian. Oh, I'm Tara. And <laughs> we all see you <laughs> next time. Bye, everyone. Peace out, Girl Scouts.